Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. Today is going to be a really fun episode. We're going to talk about automation. And when I speak of automation, I'm really talking about using the power of vMix UTC and scripting. So we're going to push one button. That button is going to be entitled Start Round and it's going to allow us to do a lot of different things and bring in a lot of different elements. Uh, it's going to bring in, in the upper left hand corner, it's going to bring in our logo. In the upper right hand corner, it's going to bring in the sponsor logo. It's going to bring in a lower third, which is going to have images of the fighters, the fighters' names, a round timer, and what round uh, we're currently in. It's going to count down 15 seconds using the timer function, and then that lower third is going to go away and bring in a smaller bug that just has the uh, round timer and the round number in the lower right hand corner. And then at the end of the round, that will go away and it's going to bring in the fighters' names uh, in the lower left hand corner along with what uh, corner they're in, either the blue corner or the red corner. So we have that and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. Let's get into it. Okay, and right there is the start round button. That's what's going to get everything going. We'll activate that. You'll see in the top left hand corner we have the uh, logo that comes in and then the lower third which has the fighter images the fighter names the uh, countdown timer for the clock and then the round indicator after 15 seconds it goes to the smaller bug and then we'll just skip ahead so you don't have to watch a full three minute round counting down five four three two one the small bug now goes away and in the corner there, it brings in both the fighters and then their, uh, whether the blue or red corner. Okay, there's our start round button. But before we dive into that, let's look at some of the other elements and see what we have to do in order to get the scripting to work for them. We're going to go to the round timer and look at that. And over on the tick boxes on the left-hand side, we're going to uh, tick start, pause, and stop. And then we're going to give uh, names to those links there start clock, pause clock, and reset clock. And there's some of the mapping that we do. You can see the input small boxing bug and then boxing fighter lower third with images. And it showed clock. That's exactly what we're mapping uh, this title to. You can see clock over in the right hand side. And there you see the clock under title uh, in the uh, menu there. And here's the uh, small bug in the bottom right hand corner and again you see clock and that's what we're mapping it to as well. That uh, section right there where it says text that's actually the uh, clock for that bug there in the corner. If you look down in the bottom of this graphic there it's going to say show corner on completion show corner and that's how that um, corner bug comes up that shows uh, whether the fighter is in the blue or the red corner at the end of the round. That's how that comes up on completion of the timer, in this case a three minute interval. This is what the uh, looks like for the show corner bug. Again we have the execute uh, checked and in the link there we have show corner and that's going to bring in uh, the overlay input um, for that uh, corner bug. Next thing we're going to look at is the lower third with the fighter images. Uh, we have the execute uh, tick box uh, ticked again one time and the link is show fighter images. And that's going to bring that you see where it says uh, overlay input X, uh, boxing fighter images and the number three overlay channel. That is that's going to say Eskridge bugs. That's one of the uh, promoters that we do. And again, the execute box is ticked and then it shows the link there for it and we're going to be using all these uh, in the scripting for the uh, start round button here in just a moment. And that is for our logo. Again we have the execute button ticked and show LSC and then we show that on the first overlay channel which I always use in the upper left hand corner. So now let's look at the uh, start round button. One of the things, the important things of vMix UTC is the ability for us to, to do this scripting. And the command for that is execute, uh, execute link. And you see on the very first one there where it says high small bug. 
reset clock. We reset clock to three minutes in case the previous fight didn't go the whole round. And then it starts the clock with an execute link command. And then it's going to show our uh, logo in the upper left-hand corner. That's the show LSC. And then it's going to show the sponsor logo in the upper right-hand corner. That's the show OSBP bug. It's going to overlay our fighters. And then it brings in the timer function. And that timer function is going to count 15 seconds. And then after 15 seconds, it's going to change from that lower third to that small corner bug. And see, then it comes up overlay input X, small corner bug in the third overlay field, which is the bottom uh, right-hand corner. And again, this is what it looks like when we push this, the uh, start round button. It brings in the elements, it brings in the lower third, it begins to count down and show us what round we're in. After 15 seconds, the smaller bug comes in, indicating the round and the clock counting down. That's going to count down through the end of whatever our preset time period is. Here it's three minutes, so it's going to count down three, two, one. Then it goes away, and the corner bug comes in, indicating the red and blue corner.